Alive, I think so. We should be. Yes, we are. Hold on, I'll explain what I'm doing in just a second here. Cleaning my glasses, just one moment. They're so dirty, they were like, causing my vision to get all blurry. That's how like, uh, how dirty they were. I didn't clean them this morning, so I have to clean them right now. There we go. Oh, much better. Oh my, I'm doing all right. What's up, Blade? So essentially, chat, what this game is, this game just came out today. It was in early access via the... It's an early access game, but uh, a lot of people got to play it via the developers being generous enough to let them play it early. Um, it's called Forsworn, and it's kind of like a Phasmophobia-esque style game. But what you do in it is you hunt for mummies instead of ghosts. So you go into this mummy's tomb, you're basically an archaeologist, and you're thrown into this mummy's uh, tomb, and you have to, like, uh, find out what the mummy is by gathering all these evidence and stuff like that. And there's different pieces of evidence, too. It's really cool. Let me turn the game up, because it seems very, very quiet. Let's see here. Yeah, early access, don't show me again. I got it, yeah. It uses proximity and global voice chat. You know, we recommend using in game voice chat with headphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, setting sound. Input device. Fly. Graphics. Ultra. Texture resolution, full, I guess. Apply. And that's fine with you. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. Creo, hello. Applied, so I guess it applied. Okay. Tutorial. Enter your excavation tent and unpack the gear from your backpack. Uh, download your research notes from the laptop, which will fill your journal with the map objectives. To view your objectives and research notes, open your PDA at any time. For PC players, the default key is L. For VR, don't care about VR. So it's L key to view your objectives and research notes. I wonder if I can change that to the J key. Locate and unseal the entrance to the ruins using the glowing blue lever. Yeah, so the blue lever is basically the way that I used to get into the tomb, um, the ruins, and then basically get out uh, once I figure out what the mummy is. Once inside, collect gold. Gold you basically collect to um, upgrade your items, stuff like that that you use. Lore pages and rare artifacts. Use your camera to capture archaeological uh, findings. Find and pull glowing red levers with matching symbols to unlock certain areas of the ruins. Stop hunting ghosts. We're hunting mummies. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh, mark down the phenomena you experience caused by magi, sa, or spiritual. I, I think that's Egyptian. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming it's Egyptian for spiritual. Form in the evidence tab of your PDA. Use the research tab to prepare for the spirit's powerful physical form. Um. I don't know. Actually, let me see. Hold on. Jai. English. I 
I don't know what it means. Oh well. Um, look at sealed door to the tomb using the evidence you gathered. Select the Maje, the mummy using the buttons on the left and use the button on the right to activate the door mechanism. So over here on the left side, um, you'll see the names and you have to choose the name of the mummy that it is. And then you just press that button over there and that opens up if you're correct. If you're incorrect, there will be dire consequences. On normal difficulty and above, you will have a limited amount of time to identify the Maje and make your selection before the door is permanently sealed and the mummy... I'm just calling it a mummy, mummy. I don't even know if I fucking pronounced that right, but uh, into its physical form on easy mode, you have unlimited time. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm obviously going to start out with easy because this is the first time I'm playing it, so I'm going to start out with that just to get the hang of it, and then I'll advance later on. When you grab the relic inside the tomb, the entrance to the ruins may close. Now, similar to Phasmophobia, there are cursed items in Phasmophobia in this game, once you have the relic, the mummy gets pissed off at you. And is like, you know, hey, I don't like that you picked that up. I don't like that they're holding it. I'm going to chase you down. Um, so some mummies will actually do that. Uh, you must find the glowing blue lever in the dungeon to unlock the entrance and escape with the relic in your life. Yes. As far as I know, it's not a necessity to bring the relic with you, but that's as far as I know. If you die, you may return to the... Yeah, so this is the cool thing about this one. Um, if you die, you may return to roam the halls as a mummified corpse. So you can become a mummy also. Your character dies. Now, if you go into the blue portal, you have two options. You can either be a helpful player, a helpful mummy. You go into a blue portal to where you can help the other players. Or... You can be a complete ass and go into the red portal and basically be like, you know, hey, I'm going to hunt you guys. I'm going to be, I'm the hunter now, basically. So, any semblance of humanity and betray your allies. So, you have a, you know, chaotic neutral or chaotic good or chaotic uh, evil, you know, um, style choice there. So, that's pretty cool. A PDF version. You guys want a PDF version of this? <laughs> Oh, man. Let's go play. Alright, let's go. We're going in the red portal, right? Is this a new game? This game just came out today, actually. <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> yeah. What's up, Luis? Um, yeah, this game just came out today. It came out a couple hours ago. It's basically Phasmophobia, but instead of... Mummy, uh, mummies. Instead of ghosts, it's mummies. And you're in a mummy's tomb, and you have to figure out what kind of mummy it is. So we're gonna go to host room. We're gonna do easy, small. Yeah, difficulty. Team split. Finders, keepers, whatever. Off. PvP. Room visibility. Private. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here's our home base. Let me turn this up. This seems very, very quiet. What's up, Prolific? Yeah, it's only 11 bucks. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, so there's different artifacts you can gather. Um, there's different lore on the ghosts also, or the ghost. I'm so used to saying the ghosts. Like, there's different lores on the, uh, mummies that you can, uh, obtain. Check out. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's Thought. Thought. It's Toth. <laughs> Toth. Oh my gosh, the Egyptian god of, uh, knowledge and writing. He's my homie. He's my favorite Egyptian god. I can't believe I just called him a thought. <laughs> My apologies, Thoth. <laughs> Anubis is good. Anubis is great. The Egyptians had, like, awesome gods, man.
Ancient Egyptians believe the soul is compromised. Compromised. It's comprised. I'm, I'm still waking up. Sorry, bear with me. If, I, if I'm rambling like an idiot, bear with me. The several parts. Ach! Equals intellect. Bah! Equals personality. Ib equals heart. K equals vital essence. Ket is physical. Beware. Ren is name. Saw is spiritual. Sekum is form. And Shut is shadow. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Beerus is Anubis. Yes, I do know Beerus is, is based off of Anubis. Yes. I know that. How do I drop this? How do I drop this? Press left mouse button, toggle focus. Okay. Let's see, what we got one here. Ah, oh, here's our computer. New items available. Login and view the latest tools and upgrades available for purchase. Arcio Bay. We got hard hat. So these are the items that we have. We have a hard hat. We have a smartwatch, photo camera, flashlight. Usually a lot of people use the torch, though, that I've watched them play. Weiss is Nate. Oh, God. Radar system, compass. Oh, a Geiger counter, nice. Detector. Metal detectors really are just there to help you gather, like, gold and stuff like that so really what's up joy how's it going tnt that must be new then because i don't remember all right you know what? i'm gonna do this leave hold on I want to make sure that it actually, like, it's fine. Uh, smooth gameplay, yeah. Red Heine Monkey! <laughs> Join private, or host room. Host room, that's what I want. Uh, yes, PvP off. Let's see what else we got here. I need to see the settings, controls, keyboard. Interact is E, drop is Q. Is there a G key that's being used? Journal is L. Is there a J? No. So I'm going to make this like Phasmophobia uh, controls. WASD is your usual. Interact is E. Drop is G. Um, hold shift to sprint. Yeah. Approach primary is left. Secondary is right. Uh, journal is J. There we go. Alright. Headlamp is F. Interesting. Okay. Phasmophobia was a whole movement. Phasmophobia kicked off, like... Um... Like, kicked off a whole entire, like, series of games... But uh, what's funny is that most games have never been able to really, like, mimic it or come close to it being as good. So, this one's pretty neat. It's also a ghost game. Yes! Uh, so, the joy, instead of it being ghosts, it's mummies. You're an archaeologist who's going into a tomb of a pharaoh. And uh, you have to find out what mummy it is. Like that, gathering different types of evidence, so on and so forth. So, all right.
have to download the research notes. There we go. Cool, so that's the map. So what's neat is that the camera is here. Um, I think this is where your photos show up that you've taken. Yeah, the torch is better, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see what it says here. Our objective goals are to retrieve the relic of the mummy. Uh, but our optional objective is gold piles collected is three. Capture proof of the existence of the mummy. Photograph the inner tombs. Basically gives you loads of objectives. This is why I like, and this is what Faz should add. It should give you the option of, like, all objectives when you're in the game, right? All the objectives should be in every match you get thrown into. So that way you have the options of completing any ones you want instead of it just being, you know, RNG all the time. I feel like that would be really neat. So, it's a cool little aspect that they add in. Uh, decryption failed, whatever. Playing Roblox, uh, and someone legit created Phasma on Roblox, and his bro is so good. That's cool, man! Copycats, I'm just kidding. Let's, uh, can I not light that? I don't know how I'm supposed to get evidence and whatnot because all I have is my flashlight. Let me see. Yeah, all I have is a flashlight and a photo camera. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Alright, let's go into the tomb chat. Let's see how we do here. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I can't even tell. Talk about crazy dark. Hold on. Let's uh let's ditch the let's ditch the camera and we'll take the uh flashlight. Watch tune appear. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? All right. Here we go. Let's see. Let me get out of here slow because I need to look at controls. This is weird. Oh, let me leave. Yeah, leave. Let me look at controls really quick. <clears throat> Keyboard. Let's turn this up a little bit. 
Wow, that's a huge jump. Look at that. Oh god, that's a huge jump. Um, I guess I'll just leave it there. No. D. Duh. No, not hold C. I just want C. I guess I have to hold it then. Okay. Crouch. Um. Space. That lamp is up. Okay. Maybe I need to buy some stuff. Hold on. Maybe I need to buy stuff. Let's see. Oh. Well. Hello. <laughs> oh, I can change my character. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there's someone behind back there. In the changing room. Oh, not good. Um. I guess. Let's see. Coat. Black coat, obviously. Dark black pants. Skin. We'll go with that. There. Dark brown face. It's pretty cool. You have character customizations. It's pretty neat. Eye color check. So that's what we're looking like. We're looking flashy, chat. Looking flashy. <laughs> Alright. That is a disgusting toilet. Like, nasty. Can I, wait, did it give me the option to wash my hands? That's weird. Alright. Oh, I have zero money. Completely. Oh, that's fun. Okay. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Easy split. Finders keepers. I don't want team split. Yeah. Alright. Let's try it again. Let's see here. It's like pitch black, chat. Let's take the camera. Do we have a camera with us? Yeah, we do. That's how we light it. Alright, much better. I think they just need to add like an interact button for lighting them because it's kind of like turning like that and lighting it's kind of like a, a hassle of it. And there are booby traps in here also, so we have to look out for that. Okay, so here's the entrance to the tomb right here. Let's, uh... There should be, like, exit, like, things right here. 
Anyway, let's go into the tomb. Yes, booby traps, yes. Yeah, no. Alright, so we're in the tomb now, chat. Okay, so I have to wait. I have to go find the lever to open that up. Oh, the mummy. There we go. Oh. Oh god! Traps! <laughs> well, it was worth the gold, I guess. Oh, I died. I'm a mummy now. I died. <laughs> yeah, that was the mummy that made the noises. Yeah, I died. Great. Cool. Look at that. Zero XP gain. Current level. That's so sad. Oh, first expedition of my life. And I died. <laughs> We're such good archaeologists, chat. Yeah. Here we go. Oh boy. Let's go to the left first. Pretty eerie, to be honest. Okay, so this is where the uh, the door is, where I have to select what the mu what the mummy is. I heard my heartbeat there. I think you don't like the little sounds. I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> Research. Tasks. Evidence. Here we go. Evidence. This is the different types of evidence that we can get. We can get destruction, where we'll hear it, like, destroy bases or something like that. Uh, extinguished flames, so it's like, I'll light my torch or put light torches or stuff down there and it'll extinguish them out. Reanimation, stuff will move. Uh, magnetic distortion, but I need to know magnetic distortion. I need items for that. Uh, radar detection. Voices, so we'll hear voices. Tremors. Like mini earthquakes, basically. Disturbed tombs. Uh, footsteps. I didn't hear any footsteps down there. Metallic signature. Electronic 
disturbances or radioactivity. So there's a bunch of evidences that we can find um, to give us what the mummy is. So let's go back down there. Oh, he's right there! I want to make sure he can't get me. <laughs> okay, so that was him right there. I don't know if you saw the mist. What is this game about? You're an archaeologist. And you're basically sent to these... Uh, to these mummies' tombs. These tombs. And you have to figure out what kind of mummy is haunting those tombs. Uh, basically is... Uh, haunting, lurking, whatever you would call it. Yeah. Um, that's what it basically is. Alright, let's see here. What do we got for our objectives and stuff? Retrieve the relic is the main objective, but I'm not even going to try and bother with that. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Whoa! The nice part about this game is that you have infinite running speed. <laughs> you don't have to worry about running out of breath or uh, running as slow as a grandma. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I see a shadow walking down there. You hate wooden running. It's limited. Yeah, it's realistic, but kind of boring. Infinite run is go. Yeah, man. Yeah, because, you know, it's like, you're in a mummy's tomb, man. I don't know what kind of... What? Like, how am I supposed to figure out what kind we're dealing with if I can't even get any evidence? There were no tremors. No metallic signatures. It's just waiting for me, yeah. Electronic disturbances, none. I didn't hear any footsteps, no voices. Disturbed tombs, maybe disturbed tombs? I'm gonna guess extinguished flames. I'm gonna guess because one of the, one of the, um, lamps or whatever it's called, the uh, torch thingies, uh, the ashes were still hot, but there was no flame. Uh, so I'm assuming it's going to be extinguished flames. Voices. Didn't hear any. Radar detection. Can't tell. Can't tell. A lot of these, I can't tell what they are. Because, like, I don't have the equipment for them, so... Yeah, I think it's ex extinguished flames. This dude's putting out, like... What 
let's see. Oh, it's right there, right at that tunnel. Oh, it's a generator. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's footsteps. I didn't hear any. And that dude was right next to me. Uh, voices. Radar detection, disturbed teams. I'm gonna go with disturbed. It could be Ra Rathos or Necro. I'm gonna say maybe reanimation as well. I'm just gonna guess, because I don't know, I don't really have the evidence, I'm not familiar with the evidence really, didn't give a huge description on the evidences, and what they are, let me see here. Yeah, this just tells what mummies they are. Which one was it? Uh, Rathos. Longest division range, near silent approach, which is what it was, basically. Fiercely guards relic, enraged when provoked. Fearful of fire, slowest movement speed. Okay. Well, that's good he's the slowest. That explains why I'm able to get away from it, uh, him quickly. So it's Rathos. So let's go get that uh, relic and get the fuck out of here. Now we have to find the lever. The sound design is really good. It really is, yeah. So now we have to find the blue lever. That's where he's going to spawn from. Fuck no. So, not there. I could take a picture of that. Oh. It's right there. Oh, wait. Was that it? There's nothing in here. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's the one thing about this game. Once you get the relic, it locks you in here, so you have to find this lever. I'll take that gold, though. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Nope. 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 Oh, God. Oh, 
wait, that was a dead end too. Fuck, there's so many dead ends! Oh god! <laughs> Got me, son of a bitch. Damn it. We were so close. We had it. We had the evidence. We had everything. All we needed was that stinking lever, yeah. I couldn't find it. It was probably in the most obvious spot, too. And it's kind of clear as day to when you, like, find it. Because you'll know you'll find it because it's, like, glowing blue. Um, let me see. Let me leave. Room. Let's try it again, chat. Yeah, no XP. Yeah, yeah, you die and you get nothing. Yeah, you literally die and you get nothing. That's the thing with this game. Sound like I just completed some objective, the way it made that sound. Near Stone City, Karga, Egypt, approximate coordinates 25, 30, whatever that is. I don't know. Alright chat, here we go. I think this is why expeditions usually take place during the day. <laughs> Cause of shit like- oh that's lovely, you just put the fucking spawn of the thing right there. a good amount of gold. We'll take that. Even more gold. No gold behind there.
stop them. I ain't dying. I'm booking it. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I got gold. I got 52 gold. I got uh, pictures. I'm good. Fuck you. <laughs> I ain't dying just yet. <laughs> Alright. There we go. 30 XP. 52 gold pieces. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sweet. So let's go back to the computer. See if we can buy anything. Wrong room. We're making progress now. 30 XP. Yeah. Period hard hat with a stronger incentive bulb for greater visibility. Yes! Please. Cool. So I got a hard hat. Awesome. Nice. Gotta farm up some gold, though. Some gold and XP. You know, for 11 bucks, this game's not bad. It's really, really not that bad. What do you think of the game so far, chat? What do you think of it so far? I kind of like it. I think it's pretty fun. was that? Okay, so that's where that is. Let's go see here. Solid 8 out of 10, your opinion? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's also good too, yeah. <clears throat> um, evidence. 
So it sounded like there was some like weird. It didn't sound like a. Was it footsteps? Or was it destruction? Because it sounded like almost like water dripping almost. Yeah, it sounded like water dripping basically. So I don't know. Chase, thank you so much for the uh, sub. Thank you, thank you. So I don't know if it's footsteps or. Disturbed tombs? I don't know, maybe it's footsteps. Maybe that's what that was. That's weird. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Because that was weird. That that literally sounded like water dripping, but there's no evidence for that. Like, that's the one thing they don't put in this game. It's like, they don't tell you what the evidence pieces are. Like, Phasmophobia, they do it to where it's like, oh yeah, it's self-explanatory. You know, it's, it's ghost writing. You literally write a fucking thing in the book. Uh, you have orbs, you know, the usual stuff. Here it's like, now yeah, we're not telling you anything. Figure it out. <laughs> Did I go this way? I did not. Alright, well I got all the... I got all the money that I can, and all the photos that I can, so I have to get out of there. Thor in Norse mythology is actually... I did not know that, actually. That's pretty cool. Neato. Alright, well, I didn't find out what it is, but who cares? I got moolah, I got pictures, fuck it. <laughs> Once you heard that heartbeat, you're like, nope. Alright. I want to save up for... I don't know, I feel like... Hmm. Alert you for movement once placed, add on to the radar system, a random mystical item. You know, almost hear whispers of English within, yet holding this close seems to prove, provide some protection. So this seems like it's supposed to be like the cross, basically. Only has one map so far, right, Nate? Uh, no, it has multiple different maps. Um, it has different maps. I think it has like three or four maps. But you can change the size of them, too. Uh, so, like, you have small, medium, or large. I'm just playing on small since it's just me. Uh, difficulty. There's not really a difficulty difference in the money you make and the experience you gain. So, that's one thing about this one. Is that you could play on easy difficulty and get the same amount of money and experience points you get on brutal. So, really, it's like... Like, the difficulty doesn't really matter. So, it's just like, easy it is. <laughs> Uh, finders keepers, private, ready. Had a map that's as big as the prison slash school. Oh, so like a lid. Well, I mean. I think that's how big the largest one is. I think it's the size of the high school. But you find the evidence so fast that it's like, you know, okay. It's 
cool relic. I forget what that's called, but that's really cool. That's weird. I didn't drop anything. Oh, uh, maybe it just says that no matter what. Okay. Yeah, see, there was that sound again. What the heck? Whoa, not down there. Oh. Money. I'll take it. We're just gonna kind of see if we can speed run this a bit, chat. Ooh. Ah, I died. <laughs> How am I supposed to get over to those? What? Oh, uh, I wonder if there's a lever I have to pull. That's probably it. Okay, well, I died. The traps, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the best thing to do... Um... I think the best course of action to take would be for the moment is to just grab gold and book it that's it gold and photos and book it just that way i can get money and unlock more items and stuff like that and just level up Stealing the loot, yeah. Oh, you know what? That Pepe, that Pepe Riot is like the perfect emoji for this. It's like... <laughs> That's funny. I just got the mission objective unlock? What? Audio? I just, just made it sound like I completed an objective in the audio. That's weird. Come on! So janky sometimes. There we go. Alright, so where's the opening door of this tomb? Where's the entrance? we go if you guys could explore like go on an expedition and explore anything where we what would you go explore
Like, if an archaeologist was like, hey, I need a partner. Oh, you want to come along? Something like that? What, uh, what would you want to be? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sweet. Got some gold. Cool. in here. Anything over here? Yep. You'd explore some cave. Let's see. Oh, he just vanished. Oh, he's breaking things. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Alright, so I got gold. I got uh, 20 gold, one pamphlet thing. Not gonna stick around forever, though. That missed jump scared you? Oh no. Yes, a lot of mythology is very dark. Um, no matter what uh, religion or or legends or folklore, or whatever, it it's all has dark parts. I mean, in Catholicism, you have you know God. He basically turned an entire city to ash, or excuse me, to salt, because you know that he um, they were like, now nah, we don't, you know. We're not going to follow his follow him or anything like that. And then, you know, then you have uh, Nordic mythology, which has a bunch of crazy stuff in it, which Nas would give you a much better, like, uh, you know, explanation of it. You also have other types of stuff. I don't know. My brain's, like, too fried to even think about it right now. You're about to go explore your refrigerator. Nice. You'd explore some cave that can go as far down to the equator. So in other words, you want to go down into a cave and you'd burn up. In other words, if the gas in the cave doesn't kill you first. <laughs> or give you crazy hallucinations or stuff like that. Alright, so we're level 3. How much, how much gold do we have? We have 93, so I still need to make some more. <laughs> That's kind of funny, the mist jump scared you. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, once, so once I get the equipment, uh, once I'm able to buy it and bring it, I'll, uh, I'll definitely, like, bring in more detail to this. Go.
Got some gold, got some gold, got some beautiful gold. Oh, it's missed. What's up? What's up, Emilio? How's it going? Loki legit becomes a mother. Yeah, uh, Loki is, like, apparently, I don't know, it's weird. He, like, doesn't have a gender whatsoever. It's either that or he's, like, able to, like, switch genders anytime he wants. It's, like, really bizarre. But then again, he is a god of mischief and, you know, he is a god and gods have the power to do whatever they will or please. I don't have that much gold. Hey, we have 59 gold! Let's go. This dude's getting kind of pissy with me. Bro, chill out, man. Ooh, bats. Nice. Alright, 74 gold. That is really good. That's a lot. Let's get out. Just kidding. More gold. Okay, I think I explored this place... Like, as m mostly as what I can. Oh, there's gold right there. 95! Alright, we're good. We're good. How'd I sleep? I got an hour and a half of sleep. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get a lot of XP for this. At least more than we did before. Because we found all the gold. Uh, we got some pretty good pictures. We got a good picture. Uh, gathered evidence of preserved remains. So, yeah, one and a half hours sleep. Yeah, because my room, I, was, I had the AC on and my room was like crazy hot. Like, literally, it was, I was sweating bullets, bro. Like, literally. The entire world is made out of your mirror's body. Yeah, there's a lot. North mythology is very, very interesting. Smartwatch. Communicate with your team of fellow archaeologists from afar with this smartwatch with the hands. Oh God, can you imagine? Can you imagine if that if phasmophobia did that, chat? You're in this. You're in the haunted house, and like all of a sudden, it's just like. Around 12 a.m. Eastern, how'd you not sleep? I I don't know, man. I I couldn't. I couldn't sleep. I, I don't know. Um, I was watching some shows. I was watching some movies. And let's see what I watch. Uh, I watched some Expedition Unknown. I watched Expedition X. I watched, uh, let's see, what else? Wally. -E. I watched Wally. -E. That's about it. And, yeah, I don't know. But, anyway, getting back to what I was talking about, can you imagine if in Phasmophobia they added that to where it's like, you have to have an item on you, like, an actual item, to be able to, like, use a radio to, to communicate with your other teammates. Like, other than that, you would have to shout into your microphone for them to hear you all the way across the house. <laughs> We had to do was to create your own mythology if you remember your mythology was like a mixture of lovecraft and greek mythology very cool nice makes this upgraded flashlight shine more brightly um
Navigate and detect magnetic distortions with the handy compass. Buy it before things go south. Yes, that would be very good. But at the same time... Well... I can literally make that up in, like, one match. So I'm just gonna buy this, you know. Because then I'm gonna go with the Geiger counter. Um... Equip the tablet transmits what you see to a monitoring screen so you can beat the eyes for your team wherever you are. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna get a kick out of the handheld radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh man. Um. Okay. So we got the compass. Let's see. Ninety-five gold. I only get fifteen XP. Oh well, whatever. Okay. That's cool. They had to come up with their own mythology. I remember in uh, elementary school, we had to pick a play. I forget what it was, but it was based off of... Uh, I forget what, what mythology it was, but the mythology had, like, uh, orcs. Or not orcs. Um, Cyclops. That's it. Cyclops. Yeah. Uh, Cyclops. And I forget... Is that Greek? I can't remember if that's Greek, Roman, Greek or Roman. I can't remember. But uh, we had to do like a play in that, and like it had to deal with like a, a cyclops and like the gods and stuff. And I'm like, that's back in like elementary school. <laughs> like what? All right, so we're just gonna. We're just gonna do this. Greek? Yeah, okay. What in the fuck was that? What? What in the shit? That didn't sound like a, uh... What? Sounded like your stomach, right? Retire and become a streamer. <laughs> oh, man. Archaeology was actually one thing that I wanted to, like... An archaeologist was, like, one thing I always wanted to become when I was a little kid. Digging up ancient artifacts, fossils... Just set that on the ground. I find it funny how you just gently set things on the ground in this. Instead of like Faz where you just yeet it across the room. It's just like... You stop following me? Thank you. God. Freaking thing. Um, that's kind of funny. Because in Faz you're just like, oh, here's a three $3,000 camera. Yeet. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> And then this game is just like, alright, very carefully. <laughs> like, look at this, look at this. Very carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> just like, okay. <laughs> hmm. 
But yeah, as a kid, I always wanted to be an archaeologist. Yeah. I always thought it'd be so cool. It'd be the coolest thing. And then I got older and realized the amount of school you have to go through to become one, and I'm just like, yeah. Oh, what's up? I feel like this would be a lot more fun with friends, though. Because, like, right now I'm just playing it solo. Does that miss the mummy? Yes. Yeah. Come on. There we go. I think we got all the objectives that we need. For... Because I took a picture of all the mummies in there. Yeah, gather evidence of the preserved remains, got all those, snap a shot of oil mummy. Well, I can't do that because, A, I have no photos left. Yeah. You'll be back, I'll get some lunch. Yeah, man. You want to know what that sound was? I don't know what that sound was. I think what it was is it was an audio issue. You know what? I only have 32 gold. I'm going to go back in there. Ugh, excuse me. I'm going to go back in there. What's up, Griffith? How's it going, man? Oh my god. Already with the traps? Oh no, it was right there! That's the mummy, basically. So... There's gold. On there. Okay, so I closed that tomb. Tombstone. So that one is, uh... That's a piece of evidence. footsteps yeah. 
know it's a lot of running around chat, but just like bear with me on this. Okay, so that's where he comes from. So let's go log our evidence that we that we have. Doop. I think we got all the gold we can get. No, there's two more. There's one more pile to be collected. Okay. So. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Really? I'm not even going to think that. Uh, let me see. Mod view. Hold on, chat. Greater dashboard. Zoinks. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking care of that right now. Yeah. User trying to ban doesn't exist. What? But it says maybe it's lowercase L. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Give me a moment here. I'm trying to do something. Do. I mean, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Yeah, get fucked, son. <laughs> no. Not on this channel, buddy. There we go. Taken care of. Taken care of. Okay, so we heard footsteps. Uh, I didn't hear any voices... No radar detection. Disturbed tombs? I didn't... I think reanimation? Disturbed tombs, definitely. Rathos. Oh, it could be Deck and the Lost or Rathos. So we need one more, uh... One more thing. Magnetic distortion. I don't know. I guess I'll go... I didn't really see any destruction, though. That's the thing. No destruction. No extinguished flames. Oh, wait. Yes. Extinguished flames was a thing. Yes. Yes, it was. My bad. Um... So, okay. So chat, I'll leave it up to you. What should I do? Should I go back in there and try and get the artifact from the mummy? Or should I just go? I've completed, I think, two objectives. And I have 67 gold. What should I do? Should I risk it for the biscuit? Or, uh... So 
possibly, but going back could be worth it. I think I'm just gonna bail. Because I don't want to lose that experience or gold, so I'm just gonna do that. Sixty-seven gold pieces. Okay, current level four. Yeah. All right. One hundred and ninety-one gold. Sweet. Let's go buy some stuff. Great towards that burns for a longer door. Burns for a longer duration. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So we upgraded a bunch of our stuff, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we upgraded our torch, our uh, flashlight, our camera. Um, so I think that's pretty good. So now we got a lot. Let's just go put this down there first. I think I might just do like two more matches of this and then I'll probably switch to a different game. I feel like with friends this would be a lot more fun, but at the moment just doing it solo is a little boring. Just because you don't start out with like, you know, a bunch of default equipment. Uh, where is... Entry way to the tomb. Hello. I think it's this way. No. This way? Where is it? Right here? Yeah, that's right here. Yes. Cool. We got lore. Um, let's see. What else can we get? What else can we get?
I don't think the mist does anything, to be honest. I think it's just there for, like, spooky, like, ambiance. I don't think it does anything. On easy mode, at least. Let me go grab a camera. I'm sure there's some sort of, like, you know, uh, what do you want to call it? San sanity system, but, uh, I don't think, like, it's really that impactful. Gosh, I can only imagine thousands of years ago the only form of light that they had back then was a uh, fire torch that's it So, Disturbed Tombs is the thing. I just heard it close a sarcophagus. gather this information so we got for evidence so far we have reanimation disturbed tombs and that's it so far let's go find some more gold There another way in there from here there is right here okay. this is a uh or maybe there wasn't maybe i just took a very long unnecessary route I just took a long, unnecessary route that led to nowhere. Picking it up anywhere on the camera here? The radar? No. So I have two objectives completed so far, and I have two out of five gold piles collected. 
Um, I guess I'll go get the other gold piles. I'll just go get them. There's three out of five. Need to find some more. It's a dead end here. How the fuck? How do you? Okay, I don't get it. How in the world are you supposed to get over there? Like, how in the world? I don't know. I think I am going to... Yeah, these traps have killed me more than the mummies, yeah. Archaeologists online, 880 expeditions underway, 399. That's, so that's pretty good so far. Nearly a thousand uh, players online at the moment. That's pretty good. got twitch streamer on here <laughs> that's funny all right quit exit game all right so i think i'm gonna play a different game um because yeah because i think uh with with more people that'd be a lot more fun um Well, you guys did want King's Quest. You said that.
I guess we'll go with some King's Quest then. Just, uh... uh just till I... Ugh. I finish streaming. Which I think will just be about 20 minutes. Um... Yeah, these traps ha those traps did kill me more times than the mummy did. That is true. Yeah, return to welcome back, Jonathan. Welcome back. What is this game about? So the King's Quest. In my possession, I dreamt of a Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. So King's Quest is basically a story-driven game, and all you really do in it is you play as the character. Um, oh, Glob. I can't remember his his first name. Um, but uh, you play through the storyline of him. You're basically becoming the king and you just it's just a story driven game is all it really is the thing is though about king's quest is that everything happens basically in real time uh each and every action has both a positive and negative reaction um that will result in the outcome of your game in, split in the second. ending i had three choices in front uh any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. Let's choose the dragon's eye. Yeah, I figure King's Quest might be some fun, you know. My arms could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? So King Edward was the character that you played as in the original King's Quest games back in like the early 2000s, late 90s. Um, Sierra Games was basically a company that made the King's Quest series and sadly they're no longer around, but um, their games were pretty intense. Like, what would happen is, basically, if you missed one tiny thing, if you missed clicking on, like, I don't know, uh, a cat chasing a mouse, it would literally cause you, later on, down the road, towards the end of the game, to be like, oh, you missed something, now you can't do this, so guess what? You have to start all over! <laughs> so, from the beginning. don't scare me, even those with all their eyes. If I ever come across that dragon, I'll finish him off for you. And I'll be known throughout Daventry as Gwendolyn the Brave. That's quite a... <laughs> that's quite a bold plan. 
Well, that requires a steadfast gut and a deft hand. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Oh, the game crashed! No! Did it crash? Fine. Oh, wait, no, it just hit on its own. Well, that's weird. Okay. It just minimized on its own. I'll be back first that's weird. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Yeah. That's King, that's Edward right there, the one with the sword and the shield. That's Edward. Same with the one the Minotaur right there. Those are references to the old um, King's Quest games. The one where he's fighting the dragon is basically um, this evil wizard that transforms into a dragon, if I remember correctly. Can I skip this part? No, I can't. Roar! This kid's such a shithead. Guards! Well, hello, cousin. <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, yes. The legendary beast he went eye to eye with. I don't know if he forgets <sighs> I've heard that story before or if he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Why yes. is it like doctors, wizards, magic elves? Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh. I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. It's 2.49 p.m. Yes, the fencing yeah, it's 12.50 for me, man. It. Yeah. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. <laughs> That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer Stop you on. Stop barking. No nope. barking. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Can I? Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues. Like the Troy to check on the Wookiees. You're competing. Well, I signed <clears throat> up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, <laughs> I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Um... A deft maneuver, an act of kindness, even in victory, or a quick-witted decision. Uh, we're gonna go with... A quick witted distraction. A in a different yeah. way. Finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. 
Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad before Why I was a knight, there? before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Rip Bozo. <laughs> You'd be so dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> After gracefully repelling down the cliff, I welcome part of the sight bit. of an yeah. actual rogue. The first sign of civilization. Alright. All I have is five coins in my inventory. Okay. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about it. Let me fix... Um... I don't know why it's like... Hold on. I guess that's like the best I can get for it. That's weird. I don't know why I was doing it in such a small Wonders screen like that. Travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical <laughs> Yeah, broken bones, broken jaw, broken hips, a broken back. Yeah. It's all downhill from there. Let's go this way. Well, Daventry is to the east. So we want to go west. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You know, everything's fine. Yeah. Grandpa, you can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Okay, so I don't go that way. Alright, so I do have to go east. Alright. Yeah, this is just kind of like a chill game, chat. It's just a chill... Chill, chill game. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Okay. The hard horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Let's go this way. There's a lot of famous voice actors and and actors uh, in this in this game. Like you have Tom Kenny, the voice actor of SpongeBob. And I'm pretty sure we all know who the grandfather's uh, voice is. Uh, Doc from Back to the Future. We all know that. Um, Let's see. Who else is in here? Who else is in here? Uh, 
Oh, there's a toolbox up in the tree there. Okay. Christopher Lloyd, thank I you, yes. Yeah. What those birds needed yeah. a toolbox for. Oh, well, there goes some of the tools. Shame. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not <laughs> go around using it on everything. Tim Kedge, I did not. Or did I? There was no reason to chop down that perfectly good tree. Oh, man. That wheel seemed freshly broken. All right, let's go this way. We definitely got wagon wheels over here. Oh, there's the wagon. Okay. Stand back, you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a... Oh! Or a... Oh! oh, oh. Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll That's cost Tom you. Kenny. <laughs> I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine strapping young man like you <laughs> could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, no uh, questions. Nope. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns. <laughs> Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. Too bad I Can't couldn't swim. Axe, bro. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, uh, the Grandpa, puns. Your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't Stay like away from my majestic uh, unicorn. <laughs> You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. You've never watched Back to the Future. You must watch Back to the Future. If there's... A series, a movie series that you must watch. There are movie series that you must watch. There's Star Wars. There's Indiana Jones. Some will say Star Trek. Personally, for me, I'm like not really. Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future. Well, and those are like the three main franchises I'd really ever suggest. The ones that come to my head, anyways. Oh, and Jurassic Parks, also. They're such good movies, man. Such good movies. Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty! You've never seen Indiana Jones. What is wrong with you, chat? 
Never seen Back to the Future. Never seen Indiana Jones. Like, come on. Like, you gotta have at least seen one Indiana Jones. There's no way you have not seen any of the Indiana Jones. You haven't seen Indiana Jones either? What? For all these quote unquote kids. Bro, oh my god, man. You guys are missing out. You need to rent, buy, I don't know, borrow from a friend. <clears throat> watch somewhere on a streaming platform i don't know all the indiana jones movies even kingdom of the crystal skull i personally really enjoyed kingdom of the crystal skull you played the lego game okay well that's fair but uh that's that's fair but yeah you must see the movies man you must You haven't seen any Star Wars movies or Indiana Jones movies, but you have seen the Jurassic Park. I'm disappointed in you, Jonathan. <laughs> How? Like, I, what is... <sighs> You haven't seen any Star Wars movies or Indiana Jones. Okay. So, Indiana, if you enjoyed Jurassic Park, whether you enjoyed Jurassic Park or not, you are going to fucking love Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is such a good adventure action series. It's so, so, so good. Harrison Ford does a phenomenal job. He was like the perfect person for that role. Um, our childhood was lit. Yeah, our childhood, our childhood was lit, man. Yeah. Nowadays they, you know, listen to me. I sound like an old man. Nowadays, uh, you know, it's like they don't have these awesome series. Like we had Jurassic Park, we had Star Wars, we had Indiana Jones, we had Back to the Future. Like that was the shit, man. Nowadays it's just like, okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know? But, um, Jonathan, for Star Wars, just watch episodes one through seven, one through six. Don't even bother with seven, eight, and nine. Seven, eight, nine is complete garbage. Some people say that seven's good, but, uh, I personally don't agree with that. So, yeah, one through six. Indiana Jones, there's only, like, I think four movies at the moment. There's, uh, what is it? Um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Let's see. I'm thinking, I'm trying to go in order here. Temple of Doom, The Last Crusade, I think. And then, what was it? What was the other, what was the last one? Um, Criminy. Oh, I can't remember it. Oh my God. I'm actually going to have to look up the Indiana Jones movies. Yeah, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, which came out in 1981. Then you have uh, Temple of Doom, The Last Crusade, and then you have The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and then the fifth one, which comes out next year. So, yeah. Yeah, Rogue One, a Star Wars... No, don't watch a Sol- No, Star Wars story? The Solo movie? Or are you just talking about Rogue One? Because anyone that suggests a Solo movie is not a Star Wars fan, they're just a- They're just a fan of movies. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, if you say Star Wars, a Solo movie, was a good movie- you're out of your damn mind. Only Rogue One. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. 
a film fan. Yeah, basically, like, you only watch movies because you like movies. And you have no connection. That'd be like saying, oh, I liked Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is the best Marvel film out of them all. That's basically what, that's basically equivalent to saying that so, a solo movie, Star Wars a solo movie, is a good movie. It's like, yeah, it's, do I like Han Solo? Han Solo is an awesome character, don't get me wrong. Harrison Ford, goat for, bro, for that. But like, uh, a solo movie, man, it's like, ugh, no. Like, the backstory for Lando and Han Solo is just terrible, man. Like, they just took it, and it's just terrible. Rogue One is great, though, because Rogue One takes place... So this is what you do, Jonathan. If you're going to watch Rogue One, you have to watch episodes 1, 2, and 3, and then you go to Rogue One, because Rogue One leads up to 4, 5, and 6. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to get the movie theater experience that myself went through and many other people went through... You watch 4, 5, and 6 first, then 1, 2, and 3. Because that's how it came out. It came out as 4, 5, and 6. Yeah, the solo movie was like a complete snore fest. I got mega bored. I was mega bored throughout the entire thing. I was like, ugh, dude, really? Too sappy? I have nothing to say. Yeah. Warm up to it. Old school classic films like the old Star Wars movies, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, and Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so some of these guys, like, haven't seen either Indiana Jones, they haven't seen Star Wars, or Jurassic Park, or Back to the Future. I don't know if y'all are just messing with me. I really hope you're messing with me because those are phenomenal movies. And you guys are really messing out if you're, uh. Like a blacksmith shop of swords. Yeah, Jonathan hasn't seen Indiana Jones or Star Wars. Big round. That should do the trick. Let's take that. You know. But common courtesy. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Ghostbusters classic too, though. Why isn't that on the list? I am sorry. I totally I forgot. I can't believe I forgot about Ghostbusters. She... Ghostbusters is another one. Harry Potter, I wouldn't really... That's not a classic, though. Harry Potter came out in, like, the early 2000s, dude. We're talking 80... We're talking 70s, 80s, and 90s movies. We're not talking, like, 2000, 2001. Um, like, the OG Ghostbusters is amazing. And then Ghostbusters 2 is good. The third one's okay. And then you have the... Train wreck remake that they came out with a couple of years ago, just the train wreck. And I'm hoping that uh, the new movie that the new Ghostbusters movie that they come out with is going to be good and it's not going to be another train wreck. I wish I um, had some marshmallows. Everyone has seen Lord of the Rings. There is no way none of you guys have seen, have not seen Lord of the Rings. If you have not seen Lord of the Rings, then. You need to take literally an entire day off. And I'm not kidding you. Because the movies, especially the extended editions. If we, if you watch all three movies, the extended editions of all three movies, that's 12 hours long. That's like 12 to 14 hours long total overall of all those movies. So you literally need to take an entire day off to watch just one movie. Because, as weird as it sounds, it's so good that it literally pulls you into the film to where you feel as though you're as a, you're exhausted just watching the movie. Because, like, you feel like you're on the adventure with them. You Like, once the credits come, you're like, oh my god. Finally, I can <laughs> take a break. How many times have I watched Lord of the Rings? Uh, when I got, uh, when I got my, um, wisdom teeth removed... I binge watched them for the first time. That was the first time I ever watched them. I loved them. But, uh. Let's see. How many times have I watched them overall, though? That is All the bad. movies, the entire trilogy of Lord of the Rings, I probably watched probably like three, four times. So. Spaceballs is golden. Spaceballs is golden, man. Yeah.
Um, what is it? Yeah, Mel Brooks does is Mel Brooks is like up there in top tier for directors of all time with like Steven Spielberg, Charlie Chaplin, and uh, even I'd say probably like Walt Disney and uh, John Lasseter. Like he's up there with some of the top ones. Like Mel Gibson is really really cool. Seen Serial Mom? No, have you ever seen Thanks Killing? <laughs> Thanks killing such a bad movie. <laughs> it's literally about this turkey that like gets possessed and uh basically goes on a murder spree and during Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's such a bad movie. <laughs> Do I like or Arnold Schwarzenegger I... movies? Uh yeah, Terminator's good. Uh the Predator movie, he nailed that role. He nailed the commando in uh, Predator, but yeah. Yeah! Hello, could I squeeze by you gents? No, we are here to guard the town entrance and keep no. the TV wrap whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rap scallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. <laughs> Right now, rap scallions. That's what I'm gonna call you guys from here on out, rap scallions. <laughs> <laughs> Open the gates and let in the people. What was that terrible movie with the duck called? I don't know. I don't know actually. Howard the duck. I don't know. Oh, sweet! Ah, a path opened. Shortcut. shortcut, cool. You making your bed back there? You are? Okay, good girl. My dog's just digging at her uh, dog bed. She's like trying to make a bed. Trying to get all comfy cozy to lay down. Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. I thought this might do the trick. A shield, eh? Whoa, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. Makes quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm, just like my shorts. This is perfect. I hope you didn't pay too much for it. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? I've already played this before, so I'm going to say no, because it was actually it turned out to be an actual scam. No, thanks. Not really interested. Are you sure? They'll charge you double at the tournament. They're not as trustworthy as I am. Yeah, tr trustworthy my ass, yeah. The price still seems really high to me. Okay, okay, you're twisting my turban here. I didn't pay you for such a deal, Deliberator. Final offer, half off the previously discounted rate. Come on, treat yourself, boy. No. I'll see if I can find a better deal at the tournament. I'll suit yourself, but don't say I never did anything for you. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Howard the Duck, Mr. huh? Mr. Fancy Cakes! Help! Heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Th thanks for the hospitality. Oh, no. I don't, no, I don't think K. Arnold is really the best, in my opinion. Like, it's, it's really not. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Aw, you shithead. You took it. You pickpocketed me, bro. Don't forget about us working, folk. 
especially when your pockets are full of riches. Wait, hey, get back here, you dirty thief! Ugh. Back away, back away. Hello, uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name. The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. <laughs> These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts Avatar, for Avatar The Last Airbender? Sorry, Dude, it's one of my first. favorite series Evil of all time, yeah. It's right up there with Supernatural. Supernatural, Avatar The Last Airbender, some of my favorite series of all times. Come at me, bees! Uh, nothing over here. Ah. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm legit stuck! Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Um... I'm legit stuck, chat. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. I'm trying to stay off them, bro. I'm like in the water. <laughs> there we go. It just kind of glitched it a bit. All right. Abandoned post. Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Nope, me. Wouldn't be the first time I've corrected you. How anyone could ever confuse you with me is... This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Uh Oh dear. Not good. Please, please, please. Guard. Oh, did it follow again? God damn it. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. <clears throat> your hero is thinking. Well, I know the answer, but I want to see how all of you will solve it. God damn it. I... The hell? Hold on. Yeah. 
to this floor. Thinks he can outsmart me, eh? What? Oh, whatever. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to get rid of this child. Hold on. Four, seven. Yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get rid of it, yeah. This is going to be the last time I try doing this. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, oh well, you know, whatever. Come in. You look like a little man who wants to do big things. Leave me alone, guys. I'll figure this out by myself. Judge Judy Slayer? Jesus Christ, dude. Hmm. I'm sure Twitch will basically like go through a send out a ban wave of pretty much everyone who has the name Haas in their username. I'm sure they'll eventually do that. I'm sure one day, at least. Uh, let's try this.
Uh, <laughs> my bow is brand new, so it, uh, it still needs to be broken in. Where did he get a bow? Did I miss the part where we got bows? Let's see here. Can't ban him anymore. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. It's like... I don't know. Let's see. Let me try this, actually. There we go. That activated it. Not very noble of knights, if I do say so myself. These guys suck. Yeah. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoyed. Huh? Your chum kids asking about a hatchet all the time. I forget this voice actor's voice, but you'll recognize him from a lot of uh, Pixar and Disney movies. I also observed that without Oh wait, no no. He was in uh Well done, Graham. He was in the Haunted Mansion too. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, Wallace Shawn. Friend, That's who his name color? is. Do Wallace like Shawn. Flavor jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer... Pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? 
This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. I know dropping a rope down would be nice, but okay. Whatever. To the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And Yay. I do want to apologize. <laughs> I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, pocket boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. <laughs> in the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule oh, a makeup man. chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Didn't hear about the day change. My mom wouldn't let me leave before I finished breakfast. Hell yeah, let's go, boys. Well, my mom whipped up a stack of my <laughs> special chocolate chip pancakes, and she never lets me leave the house until I finished all my breakfast. Mm hmm. I'll just pencil in Mummy's boy. <laughs> now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. All right. Let's go talk to Mr. Full of himself. Edges of my fingertips when it clasped. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... You're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Yeah, he always gets Graham's name wrong, like, all the time. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. What's up, Raj? How's it going? So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. That's good, that's good. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. So, where do you hail from? Ajaka. I see. Sounds exotic. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Mm. What can you tell me about Sir Loin of Roast Beefington? I can tell you that sounds like a phony name. 
Who's giving you this false information? Did you just make that up? Go and introduce yourself to everyone. Then come see me for the dirt. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. What's up, Mito? How's it going, man? Then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Wow, a lot of people are playing Forsworn. I just have to wait in case hey, uh, thanks for knocking some people that on here want to play it too. Really? You gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. We'll make it quick, then buzz off. I'll leave you be. Go away. All right. We talked to everyone. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Uh, yeah, a chaka. What can you tell me about a chaka? I'm studying a chaka. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. What can you tell me about Sir Loin of Roast Beefington? I can tell you that sounds like a phony name. Who's giving you this false information? Did you just I did that introduce up? myself. What are you talking about? To everyone, then come see me for the dirt. God dang it. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. I guess I have to fully talk to him then. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you want? I'm Graham. Graham. Cr no, no last names. I swear, if he was about to say Graham Cracker. <laughs> and your name? I'm known throughout the land as. No, Sir fuck Comfort, you didn't. <laughs> but I am currently in the process. Damn, what we'll crawled up you, bro? Starting with my name. Jeez. You should call me Acorn. <laughs> I didn't need him. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. With him. I could All feel right. the Yes. Have you remembered my name? My name? <laughs> that jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Uh, I already told him Sir Ton of himself, Every so we have to go dream? with this one. You got that right. The ladies love, 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 love. Ooh, yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe. It's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... There we go. You are... You're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Yeah, he always gets your name wrong. Yes, right. Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Now nah, let's go what acorn. Can you tell me about acorn. I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. Already talked to him. 
Sound good? Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. All right, fine. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Yeah. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Okay, now I said everything. Let's go back to Manny, I'll be right see what back. he has to say. I'll be waiting right here. Garrett? <laughs> yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? All right. Actually, no, let's go talk to Acorn. Goodbye. Because I think maybe Acorn will spill the beans on what Whisper's name is. Mm. Okay. You again? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. Yep, there this it is. ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. I'll leave you be. Scram! Alright. Now we go tell Whisper his name. Yes. Have, Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well. Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third, hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it, free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. <laughs> I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is... Jesus Christ, what the Whisper's fuck is that? Is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. All right. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on this someone? tune? <laughs> All right, Whisper. What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Okay. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Let's see. Did you hear the crowds? They all cheer for me. They love me. Okay, so we don't have to say anything else to him. So I guess now we go back up here. Are you ready for the chivalry test? For the chivalry test? Let's do, Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Uh, Manny. Manny? We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. A chaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Oh, God. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. III of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what <laughs> is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Um, 
Slick handcraft with bow, stimulating convers yeah, stimulating conversation. Uh I don't know, fucking mirror. A mirror by the looks of him. What's my score? Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got three answers correct. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Hold on. Hold on, chat, just a moment. Let's see. Hold on, chat. Should you go and ride your bike? You're going to go do that. Have a good one, Twitch C person. Enjoy the ride. All right. So, yeah. There we go. Yeah, Chad, I just banned that dude. I, I don't know. It's a sus name. Sus username. Like, comes in here out of nowhere and just posts that. It's kind of... kind of fishy. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Oh, uh, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament... That speaks multiple languages. Manny. Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Pork chop, a mirror, stimulating conversation, a slick and crafted bow. I don't know, pork chop, I guess. Uh pork chop, a rack of minotaur, sprig and roast. Anything that holds butter, really. <sighs> How many did I get right? Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got three answers correct. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Okay. Can't you see I want to be left alone? Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. Okay. So let's go uh, take the test Shoot. again, see if maybe that's... better be... No. Worth it. I'll leave you be. Go away. Let's see. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Yeah. Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. What are you up to, Next chat? Question. What are you doing? Right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay. Moving You're doing on. homework? Nice. What is the full name of the fastest contestant? What in kind the of homework are you working on? 
<laughs> Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Brendan Links, Who nice. Or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, College algebra, you hate tallying. math. It looks like you I'm pretty decent at algebra. Answers correct. If you need Great some help, let me know. Now, Unless it's graphing. Fuck graphing. Let's start the graphing show. and Welcome geometry everybody. are like Fuck that. You were all here to win a night position on King Unless it's to where I only have to put the all. X and the Y As on the know, uh, on the graph. The king has no heirs. If so it's just a simple X and a Y on the graph, the that's fine with me. But itself. anything else, it's like nah. Now let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theater, dum 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 dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And due to proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous <laughs> eyes to find in Aventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Ooh. Whisper can do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to save here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to force forewarned uh, and play some of that again. Uh, I want to say progress will be lost. Yes. Quit. Yes. So we're just going to go back to doing that, yeah. Uh, let's go and... Really? Wow. Thank you, True. Thank you, thank you. True, what's up, man? How's it going? What's up, what's up? All right, let's go back to, uh, where the hell is it? Forewarned. What's up? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. I see we're getting, uh, hot spots. <laughs> Bro, oh my god, it's been, you can ask chat, man, it's been like you. that for the past couple hours. Like, oh my god, you can't even... Really? I just realized, like, it's been like that for the past couple of hours. We've been just non-stop being just swarmed with either Haas, we had a, we had one here, it was like... FSS underscore BBLMAO and he just comes in here randomly and posts like one of those copy pasta images. Yeah. And I just banned him like completely because I'm like, 
yeah okay like it's just been hectic man twitch just needs to come out with a ban wave like a massive ban wave of like all these bot accounts which i'm hoping is soon because this is getting ridiculous it but. is <clears throat> it really is what's up iheart what's up chat hmm. all right let me get back to you can't ban him he won't leave you alone are you you're getting him too iheart oh no yeah, iHeart's been saying he's been getting them too, yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh no. So, do you want to take over with some Smash in a bit here? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Just Are you all ready, set to go, or? Uh, I am actually ready. Okay. So, whenever. Yeah. So, chat, we're going to end it here. Um, Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll still be hanging out, chilling in here, but uh, True's going to take over with some Smash. So yeah. stick around.